So in this example, everybody tell me really quick, what is it that we want? What do we want? We do want orange, but what about orange? We want to know, and I know I'm being very strict here, but we want the probability of selecting an orange, right? We want the probability of selecting an orange. So let me highlight that there. What is the probability of selecting an orange? So let's go ahead here and say that what we are trying to calculate is the probability of getting an orange. And we are going to divide that by all possibilities. So all outcomes. So if we are taking a read and we say that it says a basket contains eight oranges and 12 bananas, we're going to choose one fruit at random. What's the probability of selecting an orange? Okay, sounds good. So my party people, how many oranges are there to select? It says a basket contains eight oranges. Perfect. So I'll go ahead and write eight because there are eight oranges. Then from there, everyone, what are the total possibilities? When I reach my hand into this basket, what are the total possibilities of this? Correct. My friends, we have eight oranges and 12 bananas to calculate all of the possible outcomes. Well, we'll add up all of those outcomes. We can choose eight, you know, from eight oranges and from 12 bananas, that makes a total of 20. So here it's going to be eight divided by 20. So when we take a look at eight over 20, that may not be an answer choice that's shown, even though it's correct. We need to simplify. We always need to be ready to simplify when needed. So when we take a look at eight and 20, give me a number that can be divided into both eight and 20. And we generally want to use the biggest number that we can. Yeah, four will absolutely work. Four will absolutely work. So over here, we can go ahead and divide the eight by four and then divide the 20 by four. So we have eight divided by four, everybody, that's gonna be two. And then 20 divided by four, that's gonna end up, yeah, being five. And there we are, and there we go. After we simplify, again, whenever we need to, whenever we can, we should be simplifying. And then once you have that simplified answer, boom, we're all done. And there we go. A nice, simple probability example here.